Okay. So there's all this talk about the uh, Me Too movement. And I kind of missed all of it because I grew up with three older sisters that are, um, you know, they're about 10 years difference between me. Wait a minute. And Wait a minute. She's here! Hey. Is, uh, can we get Anella the microphone? Yeah, but how would you call you? Oh, somebody pass Anella the microphone. So, um, when I went to San Francisco State University, all the feminists were saying, the men run everything, the men run the world. And I always thought, not in my family, they never did. So. <laughs> Actually, I, I've always kind of had a little bit of a soft spot for men, and it's kind of like the opposite. All the women are saying, they're in charge, they rule everything. And uh, my dad had seven older sisters. God, I think so, uh, yeah, I just don't see life that way. I feel a little bit bad for you guys. I really do. I feel a bit bad for men. This song's called, And God, She Created, Civilization. Yeah. Hold your fire, cool your jets, swallow your pride, disengage. She's a real fine specimen of humanity. She had all the bits and pieces where God meant them to be, and every lash was a lover, cool so gently, while the fishes in the ocean swam gracefully. Eat your heart out. Mother Nature takes her toll 
survival of the species contain a full of soul. Hold your fire! Cool, you just swallow your pride. Disengage. Yeah, you eggs ain't gonna die before she brings you to your knees. You eggs ain't gonna make it just swinging from the trees. Better learn to walk upright before she brings you to your knees. Better learn to walk upright before she brings you to your knees. created civilization yeah she tamed him and it didn't take long to whip those apes into shape let me tell you survival of the species container for the soul 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 I hope you don't have typhoid or something. <laughs>
but it's the last time you love. Bow your head down, just say your prayer, cause it's time to sweat. You can't be the loser for the last time. Oops, sorry. Because we always lose in life, don't we? I mean, not all the time. If you have to be honest, there's a good thing on Netflix, by the way, called um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I've just started watching it and. Um, yeah, I've been very inspired by it. It me feel very positive about Michael my life. Michael Winner never loses. Huh? Michael Winner never loses. Oh! Yeah. Everyone's a winner. Woo! Yay! Yeah. What did I do? Utopia. Utopia. Yeah. Oh. 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 Utopia. 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 This is normally supposed to be the last song because it's kind of my um, apocalypse, Armageddon, end of the world. You know, my usual positive stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is called uh, the apocalypse. Did, did, the apocalypse didn't come last time you did it. Yeah. Yeah, I've not been really good with the predictions, but um, I'm improving, and it's definitely coming. The apocalypse is definitely coming along soon, honestly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here it is. The city's all wrapped up in plastic. The city's all wrapped up. The city's all wrapped up in plastic like an electronic group. The city's all wrapped up. the best minds of my generation running on empty super glue to the TV dreaming of prosperity talking incessantly saying nothing sleeping on platforms at train stations sipping chemical cocktails lying to the universe dead to the world Pursuit of cool. She was in a suit, he's in a straight jacket. 7 Eleven nightmares at the real. the best minds of my generation caught up in the virtual reality of living. Memorizing pin numbers and secret codes, swaying robotically to non-existent rhythms, flashing memberships to clubs so exclusive, nobody belongs. Witless, witless, clueless, useless, tight 
lip tight, this a tight ass, half ass, ass licking coke, sniffing money, grabbing the ego's jabbing. Ass licking coke, sniffing money, grabbing ego, slam dunking. Ugh, it's terrible. Sniveling, groveling, moaning, groaning. Sniveling, groveling, moaning, groaning. Sniveling, groveling, sniveling, groveling. Sniveling, groveling, sniveling. plastic like an electronic cocoon. If you lay in the street, you can hear it humming, building up slowly from underground. If you close your eyes, you can observe the blueprint, the man-made DNA that spirals recklessly out of control. As synapses collapse, bridges snap into a restless utopia, utopia! Everybody's so lively now. Oh, I know. I'll do thing. Is this it? Okay. Here we go. This will be fun to sing along to, actually. This will be really fun. It's really going to stretch your vocal Here we go.
You've been a lively crowd. I expected no less from the bookery gallery. Wonderful, wonderful. Especially... Yes, I'd like to thank my beautiful... She was worth the wait, wasn't she? She was worth the wait. and Ron, for whom we wouldn't be here. So I, I was sort of like a, a singer in bands, traveling around, and um, got a little bit fed up with the touring. And, um, you know, I, I always liked the jams that we had when I lived in San Francisco. Holly, San Francisco! And, um, you know, in London it was a little bit more, well, not you guys, it was a little bit more loose, a little bit more restrained. And then when I went to Ron Suarez that he used to have, and um, it was like, this is like San Francisco, I'm at home, I'm in my spiritual home. And this is, and this is what the Bookery Gallery is. It's sort of like, you know, we're not even in London, we're not, we're not even on planet Earth. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> And thanks to Ron! Oh. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Meg Lee Chin! Yeah. 